Hey there, I'm Peter Griffin, and today we're diving into the world of logarithmic functions. Now, I know math can be a bit scary, but stick with me. I'll make this as easy as pie, or maybe easier than finding a beer in my fridge. So what's a logarithm? Well, it's just the opposite of an exponent. If you remember, exponents are like 2 to the power of 3 equals 8, right? So the log asks the question, to what power do I raise 2 to get 8? The answer is 3. Easy peasy. What the deuce? Did you just explain logarithms in a way even a primitive human like Peter could grasp? Splendid. Let me add, logarithmic functions are written as log base b of x equals y, meaning b raised to the power y gives you x. This is fundamental when dealing with things like exponential growth or decay, whether in science or computer algorithms. Right you are, little genius. And here's a quick tip. If you ever see log without a base, it usually means base 10, which is called the common logarithm. Oh, and there's also log base e, called the natural logarithm, which sounds fancy, but is just another neat tool for math nerds. Victory is mine! See, logarithms aren't so monstrous after all. They help us solve equations where the unknown is in the exponent. Next time someone says logarithm, you just say bring it on! So that's your crash course on logarithmic functions. If I can understand it, anyone can. Now where's my beer? Until next time, keep crunching those numbers, folks.